So uh, one of the things that I'm really passionate about is the looking at the healthcare trends and uh, where is the medical cost going at the pace. We know that the current trajectory of the healthcare spending is not sustainable. Right now our healthcare spend is 17.9% GDP and then that's supposed to grow to 20% by 2027. So if we do not bend the cost curve, if we do not mitigate the trends, then, you know, we are headed into uncharted waters. So I think as physician leader, I would like to emphasize that like bending the cost curve, providing an affordable care is very important. We are increasingly focused on population health. So we want to be, um, you know, making sure that like we have all the tools in terms of identifying who are the drivers of the cost and how can we have the interventions in place for those cost drivers. And one of the things that has come up in Utah is the integration of the physical and the behavioral health. And uh, national statistics has shown that if the behavioral health is being contained, we can reduce the medical cost by 30%. Because you know, if somebody has got mental illness, it increases the medical cost by 30%. So by tackling that issue, you'll be able to reduce the medical cost. My biggest pet peeve would be, you know, kind of like the mental health and then the physical health parity needs to be in place at all the times. And also for the mental health piece was not on par with the physical health. So I would be a big proponent of having a value-based care. So with more patient-centered medical homes, wherein the patients can get both the physical health and behavioral health under one roof. So that would be overall, um, helping the member as well as driving the medical cost down as well. Right.